All right, we're back, and it's time to go do the collector ship. But first, we'll need to talk to some people. Need to talk to know, Miranda. I'm sure somebody's got a loyalty mission. They want done. Probably Thane, I guess, will want something done. <laughs> I think I can do some research, too. And I probably want to change up my powers. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. To, I'm gonna go with armor piercing, and I'm gonna reset my powers. And for this mission, I think I want to go nemesis. It makes much of a difference, but. And I'm going to go wide on Singularity. Because I'm going to use Kasumi to lock down Harbinger. And I want to make sure I get people behind cover. And not have the Singularity not affect them. I mean, I hardly ever use pole, but, you know, I have it available. And I think I'm going to use the, uh, you can't use a visor on the, uh, on the collector ship. You have to use a full f helmet. So you either get the breather mask, or you can use this dragon blood dragon armor and that's what I'm going to use yeah I'm not impressed by that nah I like this Thane wants to talk to us, and we can talk to Miranda. First, get a line in from Kasumi. I was just thinking about you. Yes? What were you thinking? Good thoughts or bad? My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. 
Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, uh, it seems more difficult to talk about. If you say that, he says, okay, bye. And then you just have to hit up one of these other two again. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic. No sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long's it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music, old, unfashionable. Kolyat jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down, click the message. Father, he pleads, tugs my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. All right, you spawned. Organic species tend to do that. Is that all you wanted to talk about? There have been... Complications. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. I feel like just telling him this, because, I mean, when the dude told me assassin is just a weapon, I'm like, and forget it. <laughs> just give it to me straight. I'm not interested in your philosophical BS. He has gone to the Citadel and has gained a job as a hitman. I could discover no more. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name, and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. Maybe he name dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus bankers store it, and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I think for this dude, I'm actually gonna... I'm, I think she's not reacting well to Thane at all. When there's a chance, we'll stop at the Citadel. But more than one person will die if we don't stop the Collectors. Yes, of course. I'll be meditating until you need me. <coughs> oh, let's check in with Miranda. I mean, technically, I don't know that this, sh this Shepherd should like Miranda that much. Because Miranda is kind of a Cerberus cheerleader. And this shepherd really doesn't like Cerberus at all. But I don't know. We've been working together quite a bit. She's been going on lots of missions with Shepard. And, you know, you fight that many missions together. You have each other's back. 
you know, you kind of grow to trust each other. And so I think it would make sense for the shepherd to grow to like. Miranda, of course, it would also make her grow to like Thane as well, because we're going to be running missions with him as well. But she's a little bit like Thane. You're just freaking weird, man. <laughs> All right, let's talk to let's talk to Mary. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself, for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe, comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have, a normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister, a friend. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin. Loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny, something we don't share. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Of course, if you were a male shepherd, you get another option there that would start the romance path. I once started it with her by accident, but then it had an opt-out thing. And I think on that playthrough, I was going for a tally or something. One time, I've done a romance twice. I did it once before I got the Citadel DLC, and it was like really super disappointing how little content she had in Mass Effect 3. And then even with the DLC content, it was like, eh, it's, it's just not enough. What do we got? The man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Okay. Two grunts, Commander. <coughs> You're part of Grunt's Krant, and you're his leader. So keep him alive. Here I have to stay polite. Play the role. But our people are dying. Krogan, I've always valued survival over tradition. If we're going to survive as a people, we need your vat-grown Grunt. Kier was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan. And that's more than most on this ball rock. So bring him back from your damn mission. My people need him. And if you get killed, I'll piss on your graves. Of course, if we get killed beyond the Omega-4 Relay, we won't have any graves. Passing the elusive man through, Commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they tripled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. It's not in the Corliss system. You don't even know where it's located. It's on the other side of the galaxy from the Corliss system. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. 
You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. All right, well, we're gonna use Thane for his warp and his incisor, and we're gonna use Kasumi for her flashbang. Wish I had the Tempest available for my squad, but oh well. I don't know. I don't really expect to use any heavy weapon. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no Mass Effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard. If they're still alive, the collectors use these on horizon. Can't imagine it. Trapped in these pods, completely controlled by the collectors. My God. Ugh. Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? Subjects discarded at the end of the experiment. They didn't deserve this. Whoever gets what they deserve. Some people, I suppose. It's not completely unknown. All right, I think we're going to end it right here. This is a good save point, anyway. Uh, and we will pick it up next time and uh, find out the collectors are Protheans, big reveal, and pick up sniper rifle training and then go fight off a whole lot of collectors. Until then, take it easy.